the red the flag the event. They're going to stop the field, restart the race, and try and settle it. Oh, trouble. Jeremy Mayfield, the race leader. Caution flag is out. You watch him slide up. A little bit loose there. And he got turned into the wall. Wow, what a shot. Yeah. He hit right at that, right at that gate. Right at yeah. the gate, the crossover gate there. And look at all that debris flying around. Everybody should stop and change tires. Yeah, come on out. Might have a flat. And there's that crossover we were talking about. Hit right at the yeah. guardrail and where the concrete comes together. And that is a piece of Jeremy Mayfield's right front fender. I think it's his door. <laughs> Wedged in there. Trouble, trouble. Oh, 88 Jeremy. Car in the wall. And will we see the yellow? Not yet. No caution. Not yet. There caution. it is. Caution is out with seven to go. There it is. Let's see what happened here, Larry. Wait a minute. Oh, he got together with the 22 car. Man. All right, the pace car will pick up the field and stop them on the back straightaway. Welcome back to Martinsville, where Jeff Gordon, who has dominated leading 180 laps this far, has a problem with the right front of his DuPont Chevy. He's hit something hard. Yes, I, I think something's hit him hard, Mike, because it, there's nobody around him. Oh, there's your problem. Here's your problem right here. I think a piece of concrete possibly came up and hit Jeff Gordon's car. So something off into turn three. Something happens right along in there. You see the dust fly up and you see the pieces flying. The track's got a must have a hole in it right there. Here's a better look. Boom, right yep. there. Wow. And Jeff Gordon, like many drivers, Dale Jr. among them, have climbed from their cars because the red flag has been issued. That piece of concrete that hit Gordon's car was just part of a bit that has loosened up there at the entrance of turn number three. So uh, the track has developed a cavity in the concrete that NASCAR is going to have to address before we continue this race. Boogity, 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 boys. Let's go racing. Oh, oh. Boy, didn't get up to speed, gets turned around, and we've got all kinds of cars spinning. Gary Earnhardt. Oh, they're all scoring all the pieces. It's about 10 cars or a dozen cars. It all came apart all right. Watch 77, Brendan gone, get Spencer, who got Rudd, who then got hit by Sauter. Earnhardt turned around, hit Burton. Got all that? Yeah, and there goes uh, Morgan Shepard sliding down through there. Yeah, I mean, when you've got 12 and a half rows 41 cars, comes back and gets... Looks and like the look four down car. here at the bottom. The two fellows who had to go to the tail end of the field for penalties made they out. Paid off. There's how it all starts. Yeah, and look at that. He's jacked up off the ground. Turned around. Here comes Rudd into the wall now. This 41 gets turned around again. Going, he'll go backwards, and then he'll go across the track. And Spencer is sitting down here on the apron. See him up there in the yeah. four car. Now watch this. Oh, bam. Well, how did Earnhardt used to sell you on pitting? He'd say, I'm in. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Trouble, man, big trouble. At least there. three cars. Oh, boy. Oh, Jeff up there. Gordon's involved. Out, Kevin Harvick. I couldn't tell what happened, but somebody got into the back of the 16 car and turned him. That's his teammate, Kurt Busch, behind him in the 97 car that gets into the back of him. He goes down and collects Jimmy Johnson in the 48, and then it just starts stacking up behind him. Look at Brian Vickers in the 25, just getting by. Well, it looked like Michael did a good job of squeezing through there. A number of guys did, but a number of guys didn't as well. Steve Burns talked about Oh, him. blow up down toward turn one. That is Ryan Newman. Jump on the bottom. Is out. No, it's out. Yellow, yellow, yellow. You're clear all around. And there goes Ryan Newman. Well, his night went from bad to worse in a pretty short period of time here. You've raced 590 miles, and now you're going to sit and wait until we can get this restart. I'd be afraid. I don't know what I'd do. I'd be afraid to kill, turn the switch. Oh, I don't know. I'd be afraid of it. I'd be afraid I have a flat tire. I'd have all kind of things going through my mind. Oh, trouble is Blaney. Michael Walter, but Blaney got together. There goes Blaney into the wall. There goes everybody. Yeah, Brian Newman's in it. Greg Bimple. 48 car. Half the field, it looks like. See, they go three wide, and Blaney tries to move over to give uh, the 22 car some room, and him and he and Michael come together. 
Darrell, I wouldn't want to be at the team meeting Monday at Bill Davis Racing because it was Scott Wimmer who trying to come up the track to get an entry into turn three caused Blaney to swerve to the right. Here they come down Watch the back this. and they get three wide. I don't know. And I'm mistaken. Wimmer stayed low on yeah, the bottom no, of the racetrack out of harm's way. My mistake. It's just uh, too many cars going in the same spot. And Kane and Martin pull away just a little bit from Tony Stewart, who fires hey, it in Casey three. Kane lost it. Oh, there's oil. There's oil on That's the racetrack. Yeah, you know, you know. Oil on the racetrack. Mark Martin, Tony Stewart gets by. I think Matt Kenseth may have went up and brushed the wall. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen the brush to all there. Yeah, he look, he look. lots of damage. He's killed that right front of that car. Martin and Stewart were just that little bit lower on He's the racetrack little... from Kane, and they got through. Just a little wee bit. Those are Coil Spring flying down through there. 25, oh. who was having a great run. Those are hopes and dreams flying down through there. Oh, oh man. No. And we talk, talked about BP. Man, it's so hard to go from 135 to 35 miles per hour and just lost control and slid into the tire barriers. You lose control. I mean, the cars start to slide, and you'll see it'll turn a little bit more to the left to try to get inside the cones, and that's it. It'll snap around on you so fast and there's nothing you can do because it's very slippery down there. At the very top of the show today, we showed you Tony Stewart doing the same thing, except Tony realized he couldn't make it. He turned back on the racetrack. Now, the red flag is out because they have to replace that tire barrier. It's there for a reason, to protect the crews in those first few pits on the pit lane. Uh, while they're out making stops and cars are coming by under green flag condition. Kurt Busch, your championship leader. We got one in trouble. Oh, oh Brian Bigger. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's sliding right across the start-finish line. He's trying to go by Robbie Gordon at 31. And, he, and he's pushing. He pushed. He slid up the racetrack. He pushed into Robbie. And there we were just talking about it. You get one shot of saving these race cars. So, wow. Oh, man. West Wing all over again. Yeah, I'm telling you what, that was a shot. Back live at Lowe's Motor Speedway, Charlotte, you see the safer barrier, the steel and foam energy reduction barrier that's in front of the old concrete walls here. That's where Brian Vickers hit, and he has done a little bit of damage to that safer barrier that officials are out there attempting to repair quickly. And what is wrong with this picture? There are no race cars on the racetrack. They're all on pit road because NASCAR has issued the red flag, stopping the car so they can set, put their jet dryers on the track and make sure they can keep this track as dry as possible. There we see them. A little bit of rain started falling during the uh, caution flag as they were making the pit stops and a little too much to continue running the car, so they put them on pit road under the red flag. That's the bad news. Good news is radar looks pretty good. It does. Oh, who's that? Casey oh, Mears. The left rear finally goes. Caution is out. Matt, he did have a left rear going down. Remember, these cars do not run inner liners. As Robbie Gordon blows up as well, these cars do not run inner liners here at Phoenix. And when he entered turn one, it was on the rim. Watch the left rear. Right there. Just blew out. And you try to hang on, but you're not. He was steering away. You're long for the ride. That's too bad. So for the second time in this race, the red flag is out here at Phoenix. First one was because of rain. It lasted about a half an hour. And this one because the track's a mess. 